Hi guys! So Valentine's Day was not too long ago. If you'd like to see a video on what I got for Valentine's Day, please keep watching. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day wherever you are in the world. So we're still in community quarantine here in the Philippines and we can't really go out on a whim. We're still waiting for vaccines and for, of course, this whole pandemic to end all together. So anyway, without further ado, may I present to you my Valentine's haul, gift haul. <laughs> so I really, first of all, want to give a big shout out to my husband who got me all this. Thank you, thank you so much for the love every day. And without further ado, let me get into my impressions and review of uh, these fragrances. So uh, this is my very first uh, Jo Malone bottle. So I have never ever owned a um, Jo Malone bottle of perfume previously, even a Tinimi bottle at that. So this is indeed my very very first Jo Malone and this is a peony and blush suede cologne. So this is the 30ml bottle and as you can see I've already put a small dent on this bottle. I've been wearing this all week since I got this. So this is a floral fragrance for women launched in 2013. This has red apple on top, uh, flowers in the mid, and suede in the base. Okay, so actually on my skin, this turns musky almost instantly. And I mean, just after a momentary burst of apple juiciness in the opening, and just a second after that, this develops into a musky scent with some florals speaking true. I suspect the suede accord mixing in with my skin chemistry highlights this soft, leathery, musky note more and putting all the other accords in the background so for those of you who own this scent do you guys that get that as well because i was actually really looking for the apples and the flowers but then when i put my nose close to my skin all i get is this soft suede so i was initially actually feeling down about this scent turning just a simple mask on me um, and then this was a gift and then i cannot not like it but actually, you know, I quickly discovered that the magic is in the scent bubble that follows you around. How this happened was the very first day I wore this scent, it was a work day, and I sprayed this scent at home, drove to work, left the car, then went back after about three hours or so. And I was as I was opening the car door, whoo, whoo, I got I caught this crisp, juicy red apple scent with actually heavenly floral goodness welcoming me. And actually, I didn't even spray it inside the car, but then the scent lingered in the air even after about three hours or so, and it instantly uplifted me. And wow, in my head, I, I, I really want to smell like this every day. I want to leave a scent trail like this wherever I go. Yes, on skin, at least on my skin, this is more of a floral mask, but in the air, there's this fantastic smelling sphere of air around you where all the fruity floral goodness comes through. This one definitely leaves a scent trail. If you're actually concerned about the leather, the suede in here, it's actually very, very much subdued. It's not 
an in-your-face kind of leather scent. It's rather soft, but you really, really know it's there. So to me, this makes for a great signature scent, something that people will know you by. And then a woman of any age can rock this, in my opinion. This has a fruity playfulness, but it's not too juvenile. But it also has a soft, suede, floral, more grown-up smelling facet. Um, you can also dress this up for a formal as well as uh, dress this down for a casual. Longevity for a cologne is really, really good. Um, I sprayed it at 7 a.m. before leaving for work. Then at about 11 to 12 noon, I can really still smell it on me. I had to respray though as a matter of habit, but for a cologne and a Joe Malone core cologne at that, because actually they do have this um, cologne intense ones in block bottles, which are supposed to be more long lasting. But this one being in the core cologne range, this one has really great longevity. So um, as you can see on the dent on this bottle, I really, really, really like this scent. I'm a fruity floral lover, if you must know. Um, so I, I really like this scent. And I think um, this will pair really well with uh, maybe say uh, Velvet Rose and Oud over here. So I think this will make a great combo for a fantastic nighttime scent, I think. So, you know, Jo Malone, they are um, created and made for mixing scents together, mixing and matching, transitioning, and all that. So, maybe if you like to transition from day to night, you can probably mix this too and smell amazing. I probably have to try that one of these days. So, um, yeah, if you are a floral, fruity scent lover with would you and you would like to explore something with a little twist like a suede leather twist to it i suggest you check this one out this is jo malone puny and blush suede i also got this five 9 ml bottles from the cologne intense collection which i'm actually really excited to test out we have um this one called vetiver and gold vanilla cologne intense uh, we have Mir and Tonka. This one I think is pretty um, popular. And then uh, another one is Dark Umber and Ginger Lily. And of course, uh, Velvet Rose and Wood. And uh, Jasmine, Sambac, and Marigold. Uh, cologne intense. So I'm um, actually really really excited to try this out. Among the five, I think I've only ever tried Mir and Tonka as well as a Velvet Rose and Wood on Skin before and actually really quite like them. My very first impressions are actually really quite good. Um, but I couldn't really say if they're full bottle worthy at this time. Um, so I'm really really glad that I have them in this small um, 9 ml bottles. I'm looking actually really looking forward to get to know Jo Malone as a brand and as a fragrance house um, in the future. So um, what do you think of Jo Malone fragrances? Do you have a lot of Jo Malone fragrances in your collection? Are you a fan of them? Um, would you recommend them and what are your recommendations? Do share in the comments uh, what is or are your favorite Jo Malone fragrances and why? So, I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please, please like this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I wish you love every day. Please, please stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now and spread the fragrance love.